Now, this morning, Extinction Rebellion protesters blockaded a coal mine in Canterbury. They've shared their experience and their footage. Climate action group Extinction Rebellion began with a bang in the UK two years ago, with protesters blockading bridges across the River Thames. And then the movement quickly spread to Europe, the US and Down Under. Last year, as Melbourne XR members turned civil disobedience into disco-obedience, Wellington activists superglued themselves to a pink boat. And in March, they tied themselves to an oil rig in the Marlborough Sounds to protest deep-sea oil drilling. And as the sun rose this morning, 30 XR activists blocked the entrance to Bathurst Resources coal mine in Canterbury. So we've come here today to shut down the coal mine. It's time to stop burning coal. We need Bathurst to withdraw their application to expand this coal mine. They've had a consent so far to extract 20,000 tonnes of coal and they've put in an application to expand that to 185,000 tonnes of coal. Now some of that application is retrospective because they've already taken it illegally. Good and welcome to our Extinction Rebellion blockade of Bathurst coal mine. So we've got one car in the front and it's got its wheels taken off and people in it and we've got two tripods with people on top of them and another car behind that's also been immobilised. This is the, the access road in and out of the mine so it just means that there can't be any coal trucks coming in and out. The science is pretty clear that we're in a climate emergency and the actions taken by our leaders and by our government do not reflect that. And the fact Bathurst can even think of applying for an extension for a coal mine is ridiculous. In a statement, Bathurst Resources told us that the protesters are disrupting the provision of an essential service, which could lead to an increase in CO2 emissions because the coal will have to be transported further. Within hours, police had arrested more than a third of the group, but the others have enough food for a week and aren't going anywhere. We're well set up and we're prepared and self-contained. There are so many places all over the world that are going to have their lives turned upside down by the climate emergency and we're only just seeing the beginning of these effects. So morally I can't stand by and let it happen. Yeah, good on you. There'll be a lot of people watching that that would have seen the protesters and gone, hippie protesters, rolled their eyes and not listened to the message there. And I think it's really important that, because there's that corporate creep going on. As I said, they want to take nine times as much coal. They've already started before Started's. they've been allowed. And I wouldn't know that if it wasn't for those protesters. So good on them and, yeah. Oh, Jeremy, you old hippie, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that. <laughs>